We start with our top story, the one I know so many of you are talking about, that fiery crash on Interstate 95 in Norwalk. Right now we have new information on the closure. According to the DOT, demolition work began at 8.30 this morning. They say excavators, dump trucks, and demolition shears will be used to break up the bridge deck. The support steel will be cut into smaller pieces, and then they'll remove the structural components as well. And when the bridge is removed, crews will mill and pave that particular section of I-95. We're expecting an update from the governor and the State Department of Transportation to begin at about 1.15 today, and we will bring that to you live air and online. With a new look at the work and the headaches it continues to create, our live team coverage continues and begins really with uh, Jolie Sherman. Jolie. Yeah, Kevin, it has been quite the morning for everyone. The demolition started just a couple of hours ago, and this is what we're seeing now. We're seeing crews on scene. They've been here for hours. We're seeing heavy machinery as well, and it looks as though they have removed the safety fencing and are continuing to bring down this bridge. Now, there is a silver lining in all of this. We are hearing from the Connecticut Department of Transportation that they are on track to reopen the highway Monday morning. At the same time we are seeing that traffic nightmare continue frustrating drivers who were in this mess just 24 hours ago it's also having an effect on businesses congested roads in this area are making it difficult for people and customers to enter some parking lots with all the trucks there's really nowhere for cars to go it's been horrible i was literally stuck in traffic for like literally two hours yesterday and i like this it was bad and we really for everybody you know for all the store now, the Connecticut Department of Transportation says the entire bridge, this Fairfield Avenue overpass, must come down in order for I-95 to safely open. Now, and once it's removed, they will be paving the road. It's been said time and time again to avoid this area. Don't be out on the roads if you don't have to be and seek alternative routes. We do know that Senator Rich and Blumenthal will be here in Norwalk this afternoon to discuss federal relief funding. In the meantime, traffic is quite a nightmare right now in Norwalk. Kevin? Jolie, I'd imagine you got out the, there this morning uh, in the wee hours, so maybe traffic wasn't as bad, but give us a sense yeah. of uh, what you saw just getting to Norwalk this morning. Yeah, absolutely, Kevin. So we did get out on the road early, about 2.30 this morning. It was pretty smooth sailing on the way down here, and it did take quite a bit of time for that demolition process to start. Um, it was a bit of a, a waiting game this morning. The demolition process, as you mentioned, didn't start till 8.30, so we were out here. It was pretty easy to get down here, but then once those rush hour, once rush hours started, we definitely started to see uh, cars and trucks pile up and it's been doing that since five or six o'clock this morning yeah i can't imagine what the traffic situation is going to be like i mean you think of that stretch of i-95 on a good day when there's not lane closures yeah. and there could be a ton of traffic obviously people can plan ahead right. nonetheless it uh it's going to cause some challenges for the next few days until this thing's reopened jolie sherman live for us in norwalk this morning jolie thank you so much